God, it's cold. It's 40 degrees in California. So I want to actually make a video about uh, a Ferrari and five reasons why the owner would hate a Ferrari. Who in the world do I know that owns a Ferrari? Ready? Teleport. I mean, I have like two things I hate right away about your car. Like, what are they? Um, it's not mine. <laughs> and it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> That's two. Omar, you guys have seen him before. We did a quick little video when he, yeah. <laughs> when we took his car to the dealership. Mister. Man, look at this. Ooh, I'm just groping your car now. <laughs> you already fisted it. Oh, I did fist it earlier. <laughs> you gotta answer the question on like five. Five reasons or five, five reasons. things you hate about yeah. your Ferrari. Yeah. Um, Actually, you know what? He broke rule one. You guys know rule one on my channel, right? Look at the car. You see, you see the problem with rule one? I mean, you gotta back it in. Oh, you have yeah. to back it in. I mean, I'm guilty. I didn't back it in, but I didn't want to disrespect his area by backing in the car. Uh, yeah. uh, the reason why we didn't do it today is I pulled up and I was getting ready for a meeting. You were coming in at night because yeah. we just shot our other videos. Mm -hmm. No matter of. Uh, yeah, excuses. All right, let's get him back yeah. it in real quick. Yeah. Look at this. We're backing it in now. Gets backed in every day. All right. <laughs> and rule number one: Never wears a car meet. I want you to walk in and ask any. Hey, two hours later. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Omar. Um, now air it out a little bit because it's a little bit high. You gotta lower the. You don't. You can't. Oh, what's a? Oh, it's a four by four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, he's laughing at yeah, you. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, okay, now that you've properly backed in your car. Like, and we know this is this is first world problems, so we're just having some fun. First world problems, guys. Yeah. Uh, first things first. The car at um, below 2900 RPMs sounds like Prius? Prius. It's just it's just super nah. smooth. I mean, I know there are Ferrari <laughs> Ferrari guys who actually really appreciate that because then they can drive around town without the car being like overly mm. um, aggressive and okay. super loud. You can actually have like a normal conversation. For for a car guy who like drives the car maybe three four days out of the week, you like want to like have like visceral wow. experience every single yeah. time you get in. Because louder is faster. That is absolutely true. And also yes. smaller. <laughs> Small, yeah, lower <laughs> apparently lower, wider and louder <laughs> is faster. Yeah, yeah. It's so, true. Yeah. I want one. I want one. Whoa! Oh, crap. Number two. Number two. Um, stock height. So, <laughs> all right. Four by four. Okay, Scott, if you're watching, you made it very obvious that he has a freaking four by four. Look here, look how high this is. I, I talked about it in the beginning, but you can literally like fist this. Like I fist this car every time I see it. This is stock height. That's major. I mean, look at mine. That's stock height too. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's aired out. Look at this stock height. You come over here. Well, look at the Prius stock height. Essentially, he has a Prius. Deductive reasoning says if his height is the same as a Prius, then he has a Prius. See, look at this. <laughs> I actually took the car into Ferrari because I thought like, hey, like maybe, because I have a, um, a a nose lift, an axle lift, I, and I thought I was stuck, and they were like, no, no, this is just how it is. And the guy actually came out and told me, um, my sales guy was like, um, no, listen, Ferrari sets up these cars to, like this is at its <laughs> best 
wind performance, like don't change the setup because Ferrari knows what they're doing. Yeah. And of course, uh, all of my friends apparently know better than Ferrari engineers. Duh, <laughs> so, we have YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so because of YouTube, I'm gonna have to like lower this car and apparently also put rims on it. Yeah, Instagram says it's okay. Yeah. yeah. Based on the lights. So I have a question. You know that I want a Ferrari one day. Yeah. Like, soon. Soon. Oh, uh, soon. He believes in me. Like, I, it's just an astronomical goal. But how did you feel when you first picked it up? Like, really short. Like, describe in like one sentence how you felt when you picked up this car. I felt sort of vindicated and accelerated for all the hard work I had done. And mm. um, even family, even though they love you, they don't. They just think you're like wasting your time when you're an entrepreneur. Yeah. And they think like, oh hey, like go get a job and just, you know, like, you don't have to work like that, you know, like, you need to, like, start your family or all this stuff. Um, so it was, like, exhilaration, vindication, but also this, like, you know, and everybody has this, and, you know, this imposter syndrome that you have, and that's a real thing, like, this idea, like, do I really deserve this? Like, uh, should all I time. even spend the kind of money on all this? Like, like it, and then you know, like you wake up the next day, you're like, oh my god, is Ferrari still there? Did they take it away from me? I don't even have one. Yeah, <laughs> they yeah, did no. take it away. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. All day. All day. Every day, bro. Every day. <laughs> All right. So number uh, three is um, Bluetooth sucks really bad. If you're like, let's say driving to a car made and you get, let's say an hour worth of drive. Even if you, like, I don't listen to music in this car, yeah. which is not the reason, but like, you know, a phone call comes in, it's, you know, it's just terrible. Actually, um, it's, it doesn't connect all the time. And when it does, it like, it's ear piercing. You would think like, you know, for our engineers would figure this out or at least license the, uh, the software from someone. But yeah. um, it's like terrible when you're trying to like have a conversation and, um, and it doesn't want to connect. I think Ferrari just knows and just doesn't care. They're yeah. like, whatever. Like, you, know? you can't even hear over your exhaust. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. So it's a, uh, it's a Ferrari, right? And uh, I had a 2008 Mazda 3, and that thing had um, keyless entry, and when you walk away, it would lock. Ferrari, what's the deal? I mean, it's cool. It's a Ferrari key. Yeah, but I think that's they've been riding that on the coattails of their branding for a really long time. I mean, think about it. Um, in 2015, when this car was made, they decided that this is as much of technology as they want to give you. So all I can do with this car is open the front and unlock and lock. You know, it's part of the pantomime, they say, you know, the experience of, you know, turning a key on and all that. So but when you turn it, do you have to press the start button still? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it takes even longer. It like I I mean, look, when you're driving a Ferrari, the idea is that you have so much time on your hands that like, you know, I yeah. got to work, man. This there is, <laughs> you know, there there are arguments to be made for the sort of um, emotions that you go through of turning a car and turning a key and doing all that stuff. So, um, yes and no. Yeah. You know. So there's emotions of like <clears throat> actually cranking your car too if you need to. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's let's watch Omar start this car, like when it was Stone <laughs> Stone Ages. Barbaric. Ready. Number five is the sensors on the car. So the sensors work really great when you're starting the car and um, when the car knows like you're in a stationary position. But if you're driving, let's say you've driven for like, you know, five, 10 minutes. Like if you've driven for a while and you pull up to a parking space I, and the car is like low, the car is low. So you have no idea like, you know, like how, how much room you have, um, but the sensors don't turn on at all so you have no clue like what to do um even when you're backing up you have no idea how close you are so i don't know like where the diffusers are and they don't beep i i, I don't know whether it's a sensitivity level or just the software issue but whatever it is they don't activate basically you have to put the car in neutral and then reverse it and then that all activates the parking sensor then it'll start working but it's quite um 
yeah it's really annoying because you just don't like it doesn't activate automatically as as things come near it and that's it those are the five things yeah these are a couple holders. A couple holders, yeah yo i just noticed the cup holder share let me see the cup holders what are you supposed to fit in here cup holders for ants <laughs> <laughs> There, listen, you don't you don't need this is this is the every single Ferrari guy, this is what they tell you. If anything doesn't work as it's supposed to be, or if they don't have a feature, they just say it's a Ferrari, you're not supposed to do that. So <laughs> that's what I'll tell you. Yeah, it's a Ferrari, you don't need a cup holder. What the heck? <laughs> hey, thank goodness these driveways are steep, but it's a four by four, so we're okay. Every day. So what do you guys think? Five reasons why you hate your Ferrari. Those are pretty good reasons. I think Ferrari so. Ferrari owner reasons. Yeah. You know, oh my gosh, my key, oh my gosh, I'm a sensor. Well, listen, you asked the five, it wasn't like, <laughs> list all the things you like I like about my it. reasons. It's not mine and it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys, thanks for watching. If you guys wanna check out Omar, I'll, I'll put his, uh, his uh, Instagram. I'm trying to get him, him use Snapchat, but he refuses to. I, I don't refuse to, I have like, 80 followers so it'll grow but anyways here's his instagram and if your snapchat will pop it up right there yeah if anything we're we're working on a project together yeah. a podcast project um business life and cars so his information from his head and experience and my information from my stuff so we'll put it together yeah. in one podcast if you guys want to check it out i'll let you guys know when it launches yeah but um absolutely it, you guys should watch it because it you know like mike said my experience uh and my knowledge and mike's so it'll be like three minutes of his and then basically I'll be talking <laughs> and his name comes first <laughs> yeah but my name comes first <laughs> <laughs> asshole anyways thanks for watching guys peace out check me out on snapchat smurfin wrx slow down there thanks yes. guys peace